told me now we are in that uh, Dika level 5 hospital at Kashwete. Please, if you know, if you can be able to get in touch with the family members, it can be of great help. <laughs> Only to find Joy now, she's breathing, mm -hmm. she's, she's just talking and just crying and asking for God mercy. I, I don't know why she was talking, she was speaking in tongues. <laughs> Welcome to Carpo's Wheel Show. This is where we ride down our love wheel when we are alive. For we don't want our love to, to be red when we are six feet under. Yes, Karibuni Sana to tonight's show. I want to believe that you had a great week. Yes, I had a lovely one. Yes, and Karibuni Sana. Yes, if you missed the love story I did last Friday, you need to go back there. For you to understand now what we are talking about this beautiful night, you need to go back and watch the first episode because this is the second episode. Yes. And so I am having the minus. And we are coming to you live from Maxland Hotel at Julia City Mall. Yes, this is a nice place. And so anytime you are around the road, this is the place to be maxland hotel they have such a nice facility swimming pool a place uh, you, you can come with your kids and they can have fun i tell you this is the place to be and so last friday i was having these guys a lovely couple and they shared their journey how they started their friendship and then at some point the lady got an accident. But we were not aware how that accident happened. And so, this is where we want to pick it from. Yes, because this is where we left it last Friday. Hey. Hi. Hi. Muko Salama. Muko Salama. Lovely couple. Wow. Amazing couple. Thank you. Thank you. Na wauna tu na wauna la so Karibuni Sana, maybe there's someone who is watching us for the first time, maybe last Friday, Hack Watch. Mm -hmm. So kind you can say hi and just introduce yourself. Okay. Obvious hi, my name is Leverett Paul Miner. I made start the Redeem Gospel Church, uh, Torah in Goigua Dika. And I am grateful because of God and also having us in this show. We are grateful. Karibu Sana. Thank you. I'm having my beautiful wife here. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, how are you? We love you so much. My name is Pastor Joyce and I'm born again. We are here to tell you that marriage works. Thank you so much. Wow, thank you so much. And yes, my name has not changed. Willie Kinyash. I'm a doctor love and out here they call me the undisputed. So you received a call mm -hmm. from a stranger. Yes. And asking, do you know this person by this name? She has been involved involved in an accident. Yes. What caused that accident? Well, initially, <laughs> I thought it's a coma. Ah, Kai. I want to. Because my friend and my girl have just escorted her. I bought her an apple. Uh, and she bought the matatu to, to, to Nairobi. So now this other person called me. After 20 minutes. After 20 minutes with her phone. <laughs> What's this? So, but I, I had to take it seriously. So she, he told me, now we are at uh, Dika level 5 hospital at Kashwate. Please, if you know, if you can be able to get in touch with the family members, it can be of great help. <laughs> so I had to ask him again and again, what are you talking about? <laughs> so I took one of my friends, he was called Patrick, uh, he's called Patrick, I told him, let us rush to the hospital. <laughs> he, uh, my friend knew her, 
Mm-hmm. So it would have John had been involved in the hunt. Let's go and we, we check what has happened. Mm-hmm. So only to find Joy now, she's breathing. Mm-hmm. She's she's just talking and just crying and asking for God. I, I don't know why she was talking. She was speaking in tongues you know, uh, on the bed. And then I started now calling her. There's an auntie was somewhere around Tika. I called her. Then we started now lining up and down. <laughs> Uh, at least trying to mushugulikia to wana vile itapanyika. Then, so we spent from that time, I think it was Kedo Sanane, maybe up to 11. We were there in the hospital trying now to assist her, what can happen and uh, to, to help her. Mm. It was sad. Mm. I actually, was, my heart was bleeding now. I was feeling now my girl is, is in, a, in a problem, what mm. could happen, mm. I don't know what could happen. I was also praying, mm. asking God, no, this cannot happen. Mm. No, who are handy? Mungu ni mekata, nina alea. Eh, no alea, nina alea. Nina alea, But God is faithful. Mm. So we come there in the hospital up to Kedo 11, and she had to be transferred to Agakan Hospital. Mm. So when I went back to my Keja, I continued Mm. So I was trying to ask what happened. Mm. So nobody could tell me because the guy was not even in, 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 in fact in the in the vehicle. Mm. He just a good Samaritan. He was just a good Samaritan. Actually, mm. when they, they arrived in the hospital, he just wrote, wrote a note mm. and put it in one of our jacket. I think. Mm. Yeah, if I can remember. Mm. Yeah. So it was a sad moment. Wow. Mm. Joy, what happened? <laughs> Wow, Pastor Willie, really, I think this is one of my greatest challenge in life that I've encountered. I, you know, just seeing death at your side. Huh? Uh, as my husband has put it, after escorting me and buying me an apple, I remember finishing the apple very well. So you were eating your oh, apple? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You were minding ah, your business of business. finishing the sure. apple? Oh, oh, yes. It was very sweet. And especially when you know it is coming from where? Yes, from Google, yes. yes. Then, uh, upon reaching Darugo, you know that place is a, 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 a forever. It's called what? Uh, okay, before you you get to Darugo Motel, uh-huh. uh, there's, a, uh, there's a Kamulima there. Yes. The vehicle I was in, it was a Matatu. It lost control. Uh-huh. It was a bit speeding. It lost control. And it went off and hit a tree. So upon hitting a tree, I was sitting on the front seat, not next to the driver, just next to the door. And there was a, a huge lady sitting next between me and the driver. And I understand that lady passed on. Mm. So I think the last thing I, I, I remember is just seeing, now it's gone, we are gone. From there, I went unconscious. I don't know how I was removed from the matter to. I don't know what happened until now. I found myself in Alakan. And I, upon reaching, upon realizing where I am, I was told I was in a coma for 11 days in ICU without knowing where I was, what I'm doing, where I am. We thank God because there is a God in heaven, Pastor Willie. Amen. We have a God in heaven Amen. who can turn around things to your favor. Amen. So it, is, it, has, it was a, another journey now to start walking. Because I remember after ICU, I had to go for theater three times because I broke my two legs. Uh-huh. Both of my legs, they have plates, the chumas. Eh? Even right now. Even right now. And my heart, this heart, I have a chuma here. And uh, at some point, I thought I would never walk again. I thought I would not even give birth to a child, but who is like our God. So uh, after ICU, I went to HDU. After HDU, after going through the theater process, I went to the normal ward. And after one month, I was out of hospital. On wheelchair or you were walking? Uh, no, 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 on a wheelchair. <laughs> it, uh, I started on a wheelchair, then I went to crutches, then one crutch, then the rest I started walking. Wow. Yes. All this time? Yes. Where is your... Confident. <laughs> let me tell you, let me tell you, this is where my confidence got to be known by my people. I, ah. I remember my dad asking, oh, how did you do it? How did you do I remember my dad asking my mom, and who is this man? Every time I go to the hospital, I find him there. Mm-hmm. That's a point there after, after I was now, uh, you know, recovering. 
I could not tell my mom and that one is a special friend to me <laughs> but by then even then they could tell yeah we'll it's only that you. it's not that it's only that they couldn't tell me expressly but they could tell there is something that that is there between me and him mm. so it was uh, it was a, a good one in terms of him still showing a lot of mm. support mm. moral encouragement mm. praying together with me mm. and praying together with my people and uh, we thank God because he, he became part of us. Wow. In fact, he became the favorite of my dad. I, wow. I love it so Amen. much. Yes. Wow. Yes. Pastor. Yes. So all this time, what is in your mind? Now, I had to be there as I have been promising. You know, when you are quoting, I was saying, I can do anything. <laughs> you are my being in my there. <laughs> It was not coming, I was not compelled to do it, but it was coming out naturally. Uh-huh. I remember uh, at, uh, at now uh, Vicar River 5, they, uh, she had now to have a blood transfusion. Uh, unfortunately, they did uh, blood bipras or whatever. <laughs> Coincidentally, we have the same <laughs> blood group. Blood group. <laughs> All positive. <laughs> so after arriving at Agakan, you are told now the patient now have been to be taken care. We need to do blood transfusion. That was the first time I did blood donation. Wow! <laughs> and I hope that doctors never made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> the one that donated, it was wounded. <laughs> 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 yes, I had to. Me. <laughs> so the next day uh-huh. we were there. <laughs> we were there. The next it was on a Sunday. Very early in the morning, mm-hmm. we were there. Unfortunately, we were told now we cannot see the, the, the patient. She is in ICU. So what was happening in ICU? We could go there to ICU with the parents. Now I don't care. Even if they know me, I have to be there for her. Yeah. <laughs> so they, they say now you have to donate. I am the first one to donate blood. Yes. So I was number one. <laughs> then, so we could get into the ICU after sanitizing. That's when sanitizing, I knew about sanitization. Uh-huh. So we could do sanitization now and we get to the, to, the, to the ICU. And my joy was just quiet. Closing her eyes. The machines are they're, they're just beeping. And that was the first time I wrote God a letter. I told God if there are, there are spare parts for my tattoos and vehicles. <laughs> and my girl broke her legs. You have to make another one. <laughs> Let me tell you, God did it. Amen. God did it. But I have made up my mind. Even if she'll be on crutches, even if she'll be on wheelchair, she is my girl. We'll do the wedding on the wheelchair. Wow. Whatever I've been telling her, <laughs> I have to prove it now. So I was walking with her in this journey, the blood transfusion. Those 11 days she was in ICU, I could go to hospital every single day. I remember uh, our friend who became later our best couple. They, they could give me somewhere to sleep around Nairobi. Yeah. So we could go and uh, look upon her and talk to her, try to talk to her, pray. Every break I go outside, we pray, we come back again, we speak to Joyce, we silent silent but the doctor could give us some confidence tell us now she is improving mm. you can see now the measurement of the levels or whatever <laughs> they're improving yeah so every single day for 11 days in icu then she moved to hdu now the hdu she could talk but she had the the brace the neck brace yeah, yeah. so we, we could talk then she moved from hdu to the normal ward now from the normal she had now to be to be to be released to go home mm. even at home mm. now i say watch and yende nujulika nange mapema 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 ndio best mapema ndio best so you go to her, yes <laughs> and check on her introduce to my myself actually my mom also came because in one way, you remember we went home, so yes. my mom knew now my friend is unwell. Mm. So my mom came and they met with the, the parents. But you know this now is not formal. Mm. It's because kwa sababu kuna mkonjo. Yeah. As wakajuana, hey, this is the parent to Paul, the dad to Paul, ah. uh, blah, blah, blah. And uh, by the grace of God, when now she went home, now she's working on a wheelchair, she's working on two crutches, so we are, I'm assisting her even to, to do, what do you call it? 
Exercise. Exercises. Now she's on one. Mm-hmm. I remember also after so many, how many months? I think five or five or uh, six months. Mm-hmm. We had to do, the parents had to organize a Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. So I had to mobilize even my friends all over. Mm-hmm. I mobilized my friends. We went for the Thanksgiving mm-hmm. and we said, because surely it was the doing of the Lord. Mm-hmm. The letter I wrote to God, mm-hmm. he did it. God answered. Are you spare part? Is this your zero Zabanza? Do you feel pain? Yes, not very much. Especially when it's a bit cold, <laughs> that's when I feel some reaction, <laughs> but not much. But walking, Only you walk? I walk well, but I can't walk for long distances. <laughs> I'll get tired so fast. But <laughs> I have to keep exercising because, you see, it, the body also has to keep you know, adapting to the new mm. regulator that is already here. Mm. Yes. But when you're walking, nobody can no, notice. No, I had even a very deep cut here. A very deep cut. I thought yeah, even yeah, my yeah. eye, yeah, even my chin here. You see my chin here? <laughs> yes. But uh, I thank God because those spare parts my husband was praying for, God brought them. Amen. At some point even I thought I wouldn't be able to carry my, my boys, my baby in my womb. Mm. Thank God because my pelvic bone was not affected. Mm. So Everyone we were able to do that. Isn't this what we call real love? I saw it. I saw it for sure. I don't need to be told he loves me. Wow. I know it. I feel it. Wow. Yes. Having gone with, you know, once you have this thing, you can't carry those heavy, heavy loads. Mm-hmm. So he knew I couldn't do much, even in the house, maybe some co duties I may not be able to do so much. Mm-hmm. But he knew that all that and he was ready to go with me. Mm-hmm. So, what kind of life do you want? If such a man has sacrificed. This is great. So we had now to postpone our issues about uh, the wedding. Now to wait for her to get well, to, to recuperate. And now after some time, now we started now having our plan for the, for the wedding. Mm-hmm. So it took like maybe I think a near or plus. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. A near plus. A near plus. From 207, so she had to leave her house. She, had not, she was not yet finished with her education. Mm-hmm. So remember we had kept that promise. Mm-hmm. You have to allow me to finish my studies. I have to have to finish my studies. By then I was hustling. I started working, kias, kiasing. Mm-hmm. So by then, uh, so we had also to wait mm-hmm. until the right time when everything is settled. Mm-hmm. And then we start planning about our wedding. Mm-hmm. So we organized about our introduction. Mm-hmm. It's like now I'm known, so it was not mm, enough. Yes, uh, and also she's also is... known to by people, mm. so it was not that tough. But now we had now to do it formally. Yeah. So I took her for introduction at our place, but uh, we had now financial challenge. You know, every single man, we has to work a business. You're starting life. You're starting life. Yes. Sasa na kazi nikia, pesa nikidong. <laughs> So, but I had this confidence that God is going to work with me. Sure. And uh, the love of this girl, she's wonderful. So, I will do whatever is required. Hata nikiambua nifanyanga kazi kwa nitakuwa nafanya kazi. Yeah, ni haso kwa kwa. That's so touching. Yeah. That's so touching. I know. I remember them coming to for uh, for dowry at our place to bring dowry at our place. <laughs> they came in big numbers. We didn't expect that. We were planning. Maybe we were expecting like a hundred. They came so many of them, wow. and we were like, God, if you can do like this, nothing that can be. Nothing that is impossible with him. Mm. Yes, despite mm. him, he was struggling as much as he was working <laughs> financially. It was not, you know, they, mm. they are this strong, they are, the needs are more than the, the, the inflow that is coming. Mm. But we thank God we managed. Wow, yes. but one thing also happened our parents now became also friends. Ah, yeah. Because of this interaction during the accident, during mm. the, her mm. graduation also, mm. my mom, my mom came now to graduate because she, this, this girl. Yes. Uh, we, we, they were, they were, they were became very good, very nice friends. Friend. Uh-huh. So even before we started our negotiations, our they first had to meet the four of them. 
uh-huh. actually her dad say i want first to meet the parents we talk one on one tuambiane kile kile atuweze kuambiana ile siku yes so <laughs> we had to visit there to kaenda tukua wawili uh, with my mom and my dad and my brother and then we found her dad and mom <laughs> and uh, the sisters so it was just open talk the challenges we are expecting to support our kids uh, it, it was so nice yako ilikuwa uokova you know you know i, I love my know he says is your pamba umeangukia but but you don't think you need to take advantage or you don't need even to go extra mile yeah. ufanye kile ambacho hujaifanya mm. but you must do the best that you can yeah. so it's not about that you go to najuana no so they, they, they created that friendship then we we went for kuhada idege mm-hmm. remember i'm a church man yeah so i, I think it's important you are a pastor me. yes i'm a pastor yes. but in church i'm not known as a pastor but uh, they know i was I actually was also the the, the youth chairman uh-huh. so and i was also praise and worship leader mm-hmm. so you know those guys you can see them on front yeah well known. yeah yeah so i got a lot of support also from the church people <laughs> my family members our extended family mm-hmm. They, they they came in hard for us also mm-hmm. her, her family is very well coming mm-hmm. so they came in big numbers mm-hmm. and uh, from from kohada indege to to the dawari it was wonderful even though we were struggling yes financially mm-hmm. but that joy and the presence of god was could clearly be seen mm-hmm. yeah well, were there some challenges you faced during the dawari negotiations and uh, dawari payment um i would say there were major ones the normal ones ile you are told that you have to bring come as you are i think that's what my dad could tell yes. them come mm-hmm. as you are mm-hmm. but not like a walk over as you're putting it yeah. mm-hmm. you have to also show yourself to prove something, to prove something mm-hmm. because me and my dad we are so close so mm-hmm. as a point it was to, get, to part with the dad yeah. it was a bit hard mm-hmm. but he had to agree mm-hmm. because that's my time mm-hmm. So I would say we saw God in the dowry process. I would mm. say that we faced those huge challenges in terms of negotiating and uh, agreeing between the two parties. Mm. We saw the heart of God. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Uh, let me ask. Yes. D- during the time uh, your fiance then yes. uh, was in wheelchair. Mm-hmm. Uh, were there some people who would come and tell you, "Hey bro, Have yes. Yes. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Have a Actually, you see even they could the, the way she is saying. They could, can 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 this lady be able now to to conceive? Can she be able to carry a pregnancy to tap? <laughs> So where am I now at to get to Baba? Jana no dey. Remember the other girls who are chasing me. Yes. <laughs> But you know I had a covenanted in my heart and I also covenanted with her. I will not look her aside. That's why I was saying even if we do a wedding when she is on wheelchair. Ata ka hivyo. She is my lady. Wow. I had purpose. Wow. So I it was it was in it was it was in asubua chakula. So what would you tell them? Would you say very bro? I would tell them I have made up my mind. Guys, leave me. I have made up my mind. Joyce, I actually could call her my Joyce. My choice. Choice my choice. <laughs> wow. Ni meamua. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I had this inner conviction that God is going to restore. Which God did it. Wow. Amen. God did it. Amen. I remember when I saw her walking on one crutch on the Thanksgiving during the Thanksgiving service she was walking on one crutch and I told I remember even the crutch was wearing that oh. day and it was raining in her church uh, church, uh, church. <laughs> that celebration it was real one because we could see from where God have taken her from there to ICU HDU what now she is at home from wheelchair two crutches one crutches i believed god she is going to walk mm. amen she is going to walk so guys i could tell them why nini hapa hotel mbali mimi hapa nimekwamia hapa si hadi mahali kingine mahali kingine hadi covenant kingine what was driving you all this time well i can say god was helping me mm because this is not the dream of a man 
God was really helping me to do it. So I had purpose in my heart, in my mind, I will not leave Joyce. So the way I was just saying, I will not leave you, even when she was home without her, before the accident. So I was saying, na vile tunasema chochote kikitokea bado tu nitakupenda. So I had to keep this one. Amen. Yeah. Wow. So the covenant word was so heavy on me. Amen. Yeah. Fast forward. Mhm. Dawari imefanyika. Mhm. Sasa ni kupanga harusi. Yes. Mm-hmm. How was that? Wow. Wedding. <laughs> wedding arrangement. We started uh, three months before our wedding. <clears throat> so our wedding, I remember it was 17th of October 2009. So we started around June. <laughs> and we were holding meetings, mostly at his church. And we got a lot of support from members, from our pastor by then he was a pastor and now he's called bishop bishop bogwa mm. and uh, i thank god because we had a lot of people to support us to encourage us and one thing we had agreed with him we have to maintain purity till mm. the very last day mm. so despite even the the challenges we are going through here and there we had to enjoy and ensure that we maintain purity until the very last minute mm-hmm. and we thank god because even through that season he went with us mm-hmm. so in the uh, in the arrangement of course there are financial challenges when you are planning for wedding just mm-hmm. like any other normal wedding but we trusted god mm-hmm. and we went through it wow yes mm-hmm. we didn't do a very expensive we did at our level mm-hmm. we could go borrow money to go come and do weddings mm-hmm. no as people we say that you're going to go with our level mm-hmm. and it was a glorious one. wow yes. amen But I, I can also add and say, really God intervened in our wedding. And I will also tell young people, invest on others. Mm-hmm. The Bible says, do to others what you love than to you. Yes. Sure. So I, I, I can say, I remember when we had weddings in our church, I was the one doing deco. Those days we were doing decos with the, the ribbons. Balloons and balloons. balloons and ribbons. Yes. Mm-hmm. So deco and lighting so maybe to nilikuwa naandika frani words frani yes. on manila papers yeah. and i could do it with all my heart mm. uh, when it comes to praising and worship <coughs> i could do it during weddings so it's an investment mm. investing on others mm. yes so god even though it is not exactly whoever you did for mm. will come for your wedding or will come for your occasion mm. god knows so I, i think me and my wife from our our different circles we used to be people of what 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 so standing with others mm. and uh, i think people came in hard for us mm. i actually remember even during the the dawa the people they really supported us mm. they really support we didn't have much mm. uh, especially you no know, now that was the one who was totally now yeah. <laughs> so people really came in for us but because we supported them mm-hmm. actually also we, because we did a pre-wedding party at her place mm-hmm. at her church in Nairobi people also supported us not because that we had a lot but because we were to report to nasimama na wana so i can i can tell young people even anybody kuwa mtu wa kusimama na watu wale and then you see the grace of god Amen. you see our badass if Amen. you support others Amen. so people supported us and we had a nice wedding actually me during our wedding day i cried mm-hmm. i couldn't believe <laughs> this is my wedding mm-hmm. i when i i saw her walking on net uh we did a garden wedding <laughs> then like a small garden wedding eh pas mlikuwa nazo garden wedding those those days garden wedding <laughs> hey. 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 Garden wedding and uh, I, i when i saw her coming we, we were carried by a, she was carried by a prado by then prados do the kwa zina send zilikuwa zilikuwa you yeah. yeah. i that that wedding was colorful yeah. but what made it very colorful is the glory of god yeah. so when i saw her walking down the aisle i said oh my god is nilikuwa tunajichuna kama ni kweli kama ni wedding hii ni yetu ama ni kuona ninaota ninaangalia juu naona kama sio wedding but let me tell you the glory of god immediately we were joined it rained heavily wow gulinyesha wow it rained heavily but immediately after preaching so during the reception ulikuwa na mwangaza jua jua kwa people 
That was a sign that God was with us. Yes. And then people gave us gift, 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 gift. We really thank God. Wow. So it was wonderful. And actually, we thank God for our parents, our friends, our relatives, and our bishops and our pastors. Yeah. They really worked with us. Amen. They really supported us. Amen. So I think even men of God now, me being one of my wife, it's important for us to support one another. Yeah, yes, to support sure. even young men yeah. and women uh, when they are getting uh, married. Uh, we support them morally, mm. financially, mm. encouraging them. Mm. It is really important for them to pass that through. Mm. Wow. Yes. Our viewers will agree that we cannot do this in just two episodes. And so we have to do the third episode. Now we need to know how has it been after, after wedding, now the marriage, life started how has been the marriage how has it been how has been the journey what are some of the challenges they have uh, faced and how have they overcome all those challenges but before then can you give us a parting shot wow marriage works mm -hmm. and marriage is not without challenges so i want you to know that despite challenges involve God. The Bible says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. So put God in your marriage. Walk with God and I know he's going to make a way out for you. Amen. Amen. Yes. Pastor Joyce, yes. you part him short. Wow. I want to encourage someone who is trusting God for a, a marriage partner. Trust God. Be on your knee, seek his face and you're going to see the breakthrough of God. God bless you. Amen. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah. We really all, we really feel honored. Yes. And I am looking forward. Next week, uh -huh. we'll continue with this story. Yeah. Because now we need to know how has it been. Because we've had people who have had uh, love stories, but then after getting married, mm -hmm. three months, kila mtu anaenda zake. Mm -hmm. So for you, how has it been? You assure me that you're coming? We are ready. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes. They have said they are ready. And so we will be doing the third episode. We want to know how has been the journey? How has been the marriage life now? Because you have heard about the courtship, the dating, and all the challenges they went through. Now, how about now? Marriage life so thank you so much for joining in. and as i had said if you missed last friday's episode you cannot be able to connect with what you are talking about and so you need to go back there and watch their video the first video i did with them and you'll be able to connect on what you are talking about thank you so much for joining in my name is willie kinyash i'm a doctor love and how did i call me the undisputed, and this is Carpo's week show. This is where we ride down our love with why we are alive. For we don't want our love story to be read when we are gone. Neither do we want our love to be read when we are six feet under. Yes, and we are coming to you live from Maxland Hotel. Yes, Maxland Hotel is in Juja, a Juja City Mall. Ah. I tell you, this place it is beautiful. This can be your second home. So anytime you are around Vicarud, this is the place to be, Maxland Hotel. For now, it is a good night. God bless you and God bless you, marriage. God bless your relationship and see you on Friday as you continue listening to this lovely, love story. Goodbye.